The Nikki Clark Show, transforming lives one story at a time. If you would like to be a guest or become a part of our live studio audience or even to become a sponsor, just go to www.nikkiclarknetwork.com. Hey, welcome back. Uh, sitting beside me is uh, actually someone who has been on my show the very first time we had the Nikki Clark Show. That was October 8th, 2012. She is the founder of the Andrea Ivanka International Group. Andrea Ivanka, please welcome her to the show. It's so great to have you here. You know what? It just it feels so exciting to be back <laughs> after like three years and everything we've gone through. I know. Just hearing the excitement in the crowd. I mean, look at how great they all look. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, make some noise for yourself. Great audience. And uh, I love this color, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, was it emerald? What do you call it? Kind of looks emerald. Kind of looks emerald. Yeah. Thank you. It suits your emerald eyes. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> now, why international? Why international? Because I said that's where we're going, baby. All right. I love it. <laughs> I love it. When you came on the show, uh, you talked a little bit about your background, some of the challenges that you had to go through to mm -hmm. get to your place in the sun. Um, maybe someone in the audience needs to hear a little bit about that, as much as you want to share, but sure. would you mind? Yeah. Okay. When I was looking at the questions, I, I actually forgot about how much I shared on that first show. So my background is sometimes really funny where people will say to me, Andrea, like, it just seems so easy for you. You get up, you talk to people, and... You just make it seem so easy. Yeah. Um, I your was personality a, is very easy well, going. Yeah. I've traveled a lot. I've lived in a lot of places, and I think at the heart of it, I got to realize that people are just people. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. we're kind of in these different stages sometimes, but at the heart of it, we're just people. Just, and you got it. A lot of where I came from, as as a person and as a professional, and I'll share a little bit, was um, I had a very successful career. I was teaching internationally in private schools doing a lot of leadership development type things yeah. on the side, right? right. And just doing things like running meetup groups, doing humanitarian aid. And um, I went through something that I would never wish on any woman. Let's put it that way. I was overseas, I was by myself, and I had to come back to Canada. I felt like with my life in pieces, and it was like, I almost didn't know what to do for a little bit. It's like, here I was, this, this professional with this network, and then I ended up down here. Starting all over. Starting not just all over, but then looking at the profession I was in and, and questioning it and needing to come to a point where it was, you know how sometimes you just have that leap of faith? You've Absolutely. You've been doing the same thing over and over and over and over, and you realize it's just not working anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you get an epiphany, and it's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. where do I start? Mm -hmm. Now where do I start? So I think I did what a lot of entrepreneurs and small business owners did, and it was just like, it was time to make that decision. And I think the way mine came about was a little crazier than other people. There was really no safety net, but mm -hmm. it, this is my life. Right. And I think life is too short to spend it in a place that's miserable. No. Yeah. Uh, I believe that. So true. Very wise. So Andrea Ivanka International, Inc. Tell yes. us about that. What does that encompass? Okay, so Andrea Ivanka International has developed a lot from a lot of listening. Okay. I find what's going on right now, at least in this industry, I mean, you've heard of Tony Robbins, right? Absolutely. Who hasn't? So Tony Robbins is one of the, the forefathers in the industry that I'm in, which is neurolinguistic programming, NLP, and literally how do we change behaviors. And I realized what was happening, especially in the GTA, is there's a lot of trainings, but they're meant more for people that want to be coaches and mm -hmm. speakers and there wasn't really anybody listening to small business owners, entrepreneurs to say, hey, I need a leg up on how I communicate. Right. I need to know that sometimes maybe my body posture is incongruent with the message I'm mm -hmm, giving mm -hmm. and I'm like... Sending the wrong message. Sending the wrong message, yeah. right? I'm turning clients off. So the whole first year was really about listening. I mean, we did the whole testing things out, testing the market. We did a lot of complimentary workshops. We gathered a lot of data. And now what's come out of it is really something that's geared towards those service professionals. So people like lawyers, realtors, mortgage agents, people in network marketing. I mean, people that they are the face of their business. 
And so all the things we've put together are really geared towards them. Okay. Because I get where they're coming from because that was me. That was you. Yeah. Okay. So it's a lot of fun. So leading by example. Definitely. Absolutely leading by example. One of, one of the clients that I worked with uh, just recently, I mean, I think a lot of people can relate to this. Uh, public speaking is the number one fear in the world. And she had an opportunity to be on a show similar like this, and she was going to turn it down because wow. she was just petrified. And we spent about four hours together. That's it. Four hours together. She was able to do the show. I got a text message from her that night, like not even the next day, that <laughs> night. Like it was amazing. I got up there, I did it, and now I know I can do more. So yeah. now she's had other opportunities open yeah. up for her. So, so it's just fun. Just going, breaking through the fear. It's yeah. a lot of breaking through the fears and a lot of shifting things so that people can do something different than what they were doing before. Because let's face it, nobody wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to self sabotage my business today. I mean, I don't anyway. Not consciously. Not consciously, right? No. So everything that we do is to help our clients get past the stuff that's running, kind of like an old computer program. Mm -hmm. and getting unstuck. Yeah, getting unstuck. You know, you shared something with me, and we have something in common. We're actually both introverts, believe it yeah. or not. Yeah. People never believe me People on that People never one. believe me. <laughs> uh, but you used it as a, use it as a strength, I do. really, because of uh, understanding um, what you're working with and to be able to overcome all the obstacles that come that way because of the temperament that we have, yeah. right? Well, people always laugh when I say, you know, I run these like three-day trainings, two-day trainings, I'm out speaking in front of people, and if I had my choice, I'd be at home with a book <laughs> with, you know, a big blanket, yeah. and that's what I'd be doing. But I learned that I also have a message that I want to share with mm -hmm. the world. And mm -hmm. in order to do that, sometimes it just means developing some skills. Mm -hmm. Will being an extrovert ever be my comfortable place? Probably not. But here's the whole cool thing. I think if I can do it and you can do it and we're introverts, like any of them. Anyone can do it. Any of you can do it. So I think that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Yeah. Definitely. It's, uh, for me, I, I think um, getting too comfortable in an area uh, makes me worrisome. Mm -hmm. So it's about being... Um, uncomfortable sometimes yeah. and, and pushing past that yeah yeah it's kind of funny once you push past that you're like oh that wasn't that so wasn't hard. so bad yeah. was it yeah. okay now the next level yeah. now the next level yeah. yeah so you have a book out let's talk about that uh i actually have a chapter in a book you out. have a chapter in a book yeah it's coming out on july 7th part of the dynamo diaries and there are just a slew of fantastic authors in that um i don't know if i'm allowed to announce some of the people are in it yet so it's going to be out soon hang tight the book that you originally interviewed me about a couple of years ago, as I went through all the trainings that I did, I realized that where I wanted to take the book wasn't really the vision where we'd started with. So ironically enough, this summer we're regrouping. There's some further courses I'm going to take about how to write a book for it to be more effective okay. in the fall. Okay. So I'm really excited about where that's going as well with the people that I'm going to be learning from. Okay, beautiful. So how do you empower others? Really? It because I'm working with service professionals, like some of the ones I listed before, really when we're talking about results, it, people say like, oh, you must be like a sales coach or a business coach or a business trainer. And I'm like, mm. really, when we talk about getting results here, let me give you an example. Is that okay? Absolutely. absolutely. Okay. So imagine this, okay? One of my clients was a realtor, terrified of picking up the phone and calling people back. Ooh, that's a problem. That's, that was a big problem, right? <laughs> especially in that kind of an industry. So we spent maybe 15, 20 minutes together. We figured out what was going on, shifted some things around. Two days later, he made two of his biggest sales to date. He's had an epic year, just picked up his new Lexus about two, three weeks ago. So really, when it's about empowering people, it's about, like, I'm really good at figuring out where you're stuck. Mm -hmm. And it's usually the stuff that you're completely unaware of. Really, and figuring out what it is so that we can get you moving forward fast. Because let's face it, if you went through some tough stuff like I did, who really wants to relive all of that all over again, yeah. right? We we want to move past it so that we can spend our life doing the things that we want to do. Absolutely, living in abundance. That's yeah. right, and awareness too. Yeah, that certainly helps. Awareness uh, first step. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, where can uh, people get the book? It's going to be released July 7th? It's going to be released July 7th. Uh, as far as I know, if they go on the Dynamo Diaries website, uh, they can also contact me at my website, www.andreaivankaivanka.com. We can certainly give them more information. Okay. Andrea, thank you so much. Thank I hope you. you come back again. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to give you oh. a hug. Careful with the mics. <laughs> Come back anytime. Thank you. We'll be back.
The Nikki Clark Show, transforming lives one story at a time. If you would like to be a guest or become a part of our live studio audience or even to become a sponsor, just go to www.nikkiclarknetwork.com.